Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and this episode is dedicated to anyone in post-production. Over the past year, especially, work has gone remote, naturally, right, because of the pandemic. Now, it was already headed that way anyway, but certainly the pandemic really uh, sped up the timeline. And there's a company called Bebop Technology, which I've linked to in the description box, which really makes post-production really be remote and virtual. And it's fantastic. So check them out because they are a wonderful solution. Now, they're not a solution for everybody, right? You have to justify the cost of really using it. So it's for uh, people who are using Teams, right? Um, that, that are in various places. Um, and because, you know, it's a relatively costly solution for this type of stuff. But think of it, it's almost like a mix of Dropbox mixed with like Team Viewer, meaning all the various assets are stored digitally in the cloud. Okay, so they're, they're somewhere else. And you access them through a virtual workstation. So, you know, if you're using, let's say, Adobe Premiere, you just log in and it'll bring it up. Uh, you just click, here's the workstation I want to work on. And then you're using Adobe Premiere, but virtually. And that's fantastic. Uh, it, it really is, you know, for, for people that do need this. Again, it's not a solution I would recommend for smaller projects or, you know, even necessarily for indie filmmakers or things like that. But especially as just, uh, you know, filming in general becomes grander, right? You know, you have people filming in various foreign locations. Meanwhile, the, the post-production facilities, let's say, you know, for the sake of argument, are in L.A. You know, this allows... Uh, you know, the, the team that's on the ground, the DI team, to collaborate with the people back in LA or something like that, and so forth. And again, you know, even now, as things continue, you know, to be opened up because we've tested out the virtual space and, and remote working, this offers that solution, um, you know, for people, you know, but I would only use it if it's already good in terms of your workflow rather than just as a straight solution. Because I said, it can be a little bit costly, but um, Bebop Technology is the company. And, you know, I'm really excited by these opportunities. You know, uh, filmmaking just in general has advanced so much uh, where we can collaborate across time and space. And that to me is just fantastic. And this is just another tool in the toolkit. So it's called Bebop Technology and um, check them out. Let me know what you think. And if you've used them before, please share your experience in the comments section or hit me up on social media at PhilSvitek so others can hear from you directly. It'd be wonderful to, um, you know, to have that feedback from people. Anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Feel free to share this episode with anyone in your life that might benefit from it. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.